We have a very special guest with us today. You are looking live at a great American soldier, one that was never insubordinate, never complained, and served his country with honor and dignity. Welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Christina Thompson. Memorial Day heroes don't always come in human form. Joining us now, the founder and CEO of Authentically American, Dean Wegner, and Army Ranger veteran Pat Lesser and his companion, retired military working dog, MPC Dax, and the founder and CEO of Project K-9 Hero, Jason Johnson. Jason, can you tell me what the purpose is of K-9 Hero? Yes, we want to take care of retired military working dogs and police canines that served our country but may have medical issues or needed a home to go to. So our organization as a nonprofit makes sure that they don't go without or veterans like Pat doesn't go in extreme personal debt trying to make sure his hero is taken care of. Oh, well, I mean, speaking of Pat and your hero, he's so cute. He's laying down right there. Thank you for your service, Dax. Dogs like him are truly incredible. Can you explain to us what makes Dax so unique? Uh, Other than how incredibly well behaved he is. <laughs> yeah, he's he's fooling everyone right now. Um, he uh, so he's uh, trained in uh, explosive detection and apprehension, and that was his main purpose was to help find IEDs on the battlefield. Um, he never found any uh, live, but that was lucky for us, I guess. But he was a he, he was a very good boy over there. Oh, and Dean, your company, authentically yes. American, is American made, and gives back to incredible organizations like Canine Hero. How are we able to best support you? So, give a little bit of background. Where it starts for us, Christina, is amazing product. So you can see and feel and touch some of the product, and that's what's yes. most important, just incredibly soft. When people say it's their new favorite T-shirt, it's their new favorite pair of socks, and that's where it starts. But what's important to us is making a difference, and that's why everything is American-made. So we produce everything here in the U.S., and what we're proud to be here today is partnering with amazing organizations like Project K-9 Hero, and we don't make any money on a program like that, but what we do is we make a difference. We help Jason and Pat, we help them build their brand and raise some money in the process. Well, what is the process, Jason, for adopting a retired canine hero? How is it different from adopting a normal dog? Yeah, most of the dogs we see in our program get to stay with their handler. That doesn't mean that they always have the ability to take care of them financially, because there's no really programs in place for the federal government and the military that help them with their retirement, like a VA system for veterans. So our nonprofit makes sure that that's being taken care of, but there's a lot of responsibility in there. And for those that don't have a home, we have that 177-acre facility in Tennessee where we take them in and give them a life there. Oh, that's awesome. Pat, how can our viewers best support you and your team? Uh, yeah, projectk9hero.org. Yep. Like, uh, we, we appreciate everything. And then just watch us as we travel and, and promote and try to save as, or help save and take care of as many dogs as we can. And while they're in service, what are some of the things that the, the dogs do? Um, so, I mean, that ranges from service to branch. Everything is completely different. Um, this dog was, like I said, uh, scent detection and apprehension. So that was his whole purpose was to conduct raids and, and do his best job at it. And we got these dogs to do incredible feats that it's very hard to find other places that'll do it. So it was wow. inspiring and awesome to work with them. For and sure. they're just able to live totally normal lives after all of that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit of a transition, like all of us getting yeah. out. <laughs> but he's definitely... Yeah, Dex actually has... Um, Knee, knee injuries and yep. bilateral hip wow. impingements, yeah. which retired him from service early. And that's how he got in our program and uh, one of our recipients now. So then that is an example of something that your company would do yes. for yeah. these dogs. And then okay. two months after I got out, like he had to go get surgery. Uh, he had a bunch of cysts on his body that started uh, coming open. Um, and Jason helped us out with that. It would have been a little bit of a burden for me, for sure. But uh, mm -hmm. it, it's great having... Uh, a safety net. And Christina, that's why we love hearing stories like this because there's hundreds of veteran charities that we work with and they're looking to raise money, they're looking to make a difference and when we're able to provide them amazing product which is great grassroots marketing, you know, that's what it's all about and we love it when unsolicited somebody sees a segment like this, goes to our website authenticallyamerican.us and has an opportunity to reach, us, reach out to us and we can make a difference. Yeah, I mean, you guys are clearly making huge difference, mm -hmm. um, big impacts on a lot of people's lives. I can't thank you enough for your service, for coming on today, um, and for your, your dog. He's service to our country. <laughs> He's awesome. He's just amazing. So much better behaved than my dog would be, <laughs> I keep saying. But thank you so much to our four-legged friend, Dax, for coming in. And, mm -hmm. of course, all of you guys. Um, coming up, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton has been impeached by the Texas House. He alleges it was political retaliation. We'll have the shocking details. You're watching Wake Up America, only on Newsmax.